Hi guys! This is Athlon 3000 GE. It is the successor of the Athlon 200 GE series. This is the so-called tray version. It is supposed to be for integrators and it comes only with the CPU. The CPU is dual core, four threads, that's it, supports SMT technology. It has four megabytes of L2 cache, L3 cache, and it, uh, its clock is 3.5 GHz, it has no turbo clock. The integrated GPU is still the Vega 3 with three compute units, 1.1 GHz, that is 100 megahertz more than the Atlon 240GE and it supports now DDR3-2933 memory with still 35 watts of TDP and the price, the price is $49 so it's quite a bit cheaper than the Atlon 240G and even cheaper than the 200G and <clears throat> so we have one big difference and that is that now this CPU is fully unlocked so on a B350 or up motherboard you can overclock both the CPU cores and the integrated video so let's start testing For overclocking we managed to get 4 GHz for the CPU cores at 1.4 volts and 1.65 GHz for the integrated Vega 3 iGPU at 1.225 volts. As you can see it offers quite a nice improvement overall, especially in the games. As for the gaming, we used mainly eSports games, but we threw two AAA games for good measure. Those games are not up to par to the capabilities of the Athlon and even overclocking doesn't help enough. For the eSports the performance is quite adequate and overclocking makes it mostly quite nice, though for some games you need to lower the resolution quite a bit. But 720p should be possible for most of the eSports and for some even 1080p. For the general performance, nobody should be expecting something really noteworthy for content creation from Athlon, but it is still somewhat capable. Still what uh, most can be expected is general performance for office PCs and home PCs. The difference with Ryzen 3 2200G is very big and even overclocking can't entirely close the gap. So for who is this CPU? First and foremost, it is for someone who likes overclocking because we get very nice improvements both on the CPU and on the iGPU side. Then mostly for office PCs or home theater PCs with light gaming in mind. But still, if you have the resources, 
it is good to focus on Ryzen 3 2200G because for the 40 or so bucks you get a very big performance jump. That's it for now. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more. And if you want, you can support us on Patreon. Bye.